what's up guys it's me me around and today i'm back with another video and today as you can see i'm in my kitchen so today i'm going to be making a chocolate drip cake or well, attempting to make a chocolate drip cake so let's get into the video so i'm just going to start off saying that i've actually been doing so much baking during lockdown um i've made so many things so i'm going to insert some pictures now So as you just saw of those pictures, I've made quite a lot of things. I've made cupcakes, cheesecakes, cakes, as you saw in the pictures just then. So we're going to start off with the basics of what you need to do when you make a cake, or just anything really, whenever you're in the kitchen. So the first thing I'd say is tie back your hair. I've got my hair tied back um, already. The next thing, I would say this is only for baking, but wear an apron, so... This is my apron, so we can put this on. This just protects your clothes from getting dirty and yeah, I prefer wearing an apron anyway, especially when you're um, whisking things, it can get all over the place, you know. I can't tie up it on. We're getting there slowly but shortly. Done. So now that's tied up. The next thing is to wash your hands. So I'm going to wash my hands with some soap. And dry them off. So we're now going to start off with the ingredients that you will need. So I've just got a separate glass here so the first so i'm going to go through the things that you'll need so you need stalk unsalted butter this is just like you know basically stalk um you also need caster sugar or light brown sugar i'm using caster sugar because it's what i've got in my cupboard you will also need some raisin flour oh, if i haven't said it i'm making a chocolate cake chocolate drip cake some self raising flour, some cocoa powder, and six eggs. I'm not going to tilt it in case they fall out, but there's six eggs in the bowl, if you can't see. And then I'm going to move on to the buttercream ingredients when we need to make the buttercream. So, the first thing you need to do is measure out all the ingredients and that. So, we've got the weighing scales those on, zero those off and I'm, I'm just going to put everything into this bowl, this mixing bowl and zero it every single time I put a new ingredient in. So I'm now going to turn my camera so you guys can see my bowl. So the first thing, that's, oh hang on I forgot, you need to line two tins, I've got these like tin liners, they're like big cupcake things. So, line two tins and preheat your oven to, I'm trying to find it, 180 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees fan. So I have a fan oven so I have to turn it to 160 degrees, so I'm just going to do that now. So now that's done. Now we can do the ingredients. So. I might actually take my watch off for this. So, let's put that to the side. So, the first thing we need to do is beat together our butter and our sugar. So, we need 300 grams of stalk or unsalted butter. So, I'm just going to get a spoon and spoon this in. So, we need 300 grams of this. Right, I'm going to come back when this is done because I can tell this is going to take a bit of time for the accuracy. So I've now got my 300 grams of butter. 
it's 301 grams but you know one gram over isn't going to affect it too much the next thing you also need to put in is your sugar so you also need 300 grams of that so let's zero that off make sure that's in zero and we need 300 grams of sugar it does say caster sugar but i'm guessing granulated sugar will be fine as well this is actually caster sugar like so yeah so 300 grams of this We've gone over. Uh oh. Let's get a little spoon. Make sure we get no butter. 305 grams. I thought I was going to get this bang on, but I'm, I'm clearly not. I am making sure I'm not getting any butter. I would recommend you do it in a separate dish or a separate bowl to measure out different ingredients. But I am double checking that there is no butter. So. Oh, we've made a mess. We'll have to tidy that up. So now, I'm going to zero off the scales, bring my tripod back up. And now, we need to whisk this all together. So, I've got my whisk here. And yeah, I'm going to come back when this is a whisk because it's going to make really loud noise and it's yeah it's going to affect headphone users so i'm going to come back when this is all whisked so yeah so just like that it's all creamed together i'm going to get a spatula to just scrape down the sides as well like so i'm just going to So, now that's all scraped into the middle, hang on, let me just find my recipe again, there it is. So, I did not ask you to fall over. Um, so now you add in the flour, cocoa powder and eggs. So we need the weighing scales again. Make, we'll, just put, we'll put you over there. Make sure it's on zero, important. Are we on zero? Yeah, we're on zero. Um, so, flour, how much flour do we need? 245 grams of self-raising flour. If you don't have self-raising flour, you can use plain flour and just add baking powder to it. I don't know what the ratio difference is, but yeah, I know you can add um, baking powder to normal flour and make it self-raising flour. So we need 245 grams of this. And before people get mad at me, it doesn't say sieve it in, so I'm not going to. If it does say that, I will do that. Just make sure it's 245 grams. Four, forty-five. Two hundred forty-five grams of flour. Then you need fifty-five grams of cocoa powder. Zero that off. You want zero? Yep, one zero. You need fifty-five grams of this. So, bit of a transition. I've now got cocoa powder in. was that okay right let's just ignore that um and you also need to add in the eggs so we need six eggs six medium eggs so let's open my bin first actually because otherwise we're gonna get eggshell everywhere it doesn't matter about the weight but you know one egg this is if i get any shell in i'm gonna be so upset Let's just hope I don't get any shell in, you know. Two eggs. Ah. Three eggs. 
my hands are covered in egg white. Four eggs. Is that four? Yeah, four eggs. Five eggs. Before someone says this is so many eggs, I know it's so many, but it's going. It's a. It's like a big cake. So six eggs. And we did not get any shell in. I am so impressed with myself. Now I'm gonna wash my hands because they're covered in egg, which is not nice to have raw egg on your fingers. I'm gonna say that as a fact. Now, let's just put this in the bowl. Now you need to whisk this all together. So combined. This is what it looks like. Let's move my camera down. That's what it looks like. Right, I'm now gonna whisk this and I'll be back when it's whisked. So, I now have it all whisked together. So now I have a nice, you can't see me. Hang on, let's pull my camera up a little bit. That's better. You can see me now. Right, so now, That is whisk together. Sure, I'm trying to read the instructions. Um, we now have to split the mixture in between the two tins. So let's get our two tins. I would recommend you go for like quite tall ones instead of I don't know if I've got one. Yes, I did. Instead of the smaller ones because they do rise quite a bit. But if you don't have big ones, like it should be fine, you know, you can just like cut off the top or whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna get a clean spatula actually. So I now have to roughly cut that in half. And then put one half into this. Hang on, let's show you. So they now need to go in the oven for 25 minutes, so I've now got a timer for 25 minutes and I'll be back then. So the cakes are now cooked and I've cooled them down, like so. I've now got two very yummy chocolate cakes. So now these are cooled down, I'm going to be decorating them, but we are going to make the frosting. So, they're still cooling down, you know, they're pretty cool, but we're gonna make the frosting as well. So, wash your hands again, which I'm gonna do now. Um, you can have an apron on either if you want to. You might not be able to hear me because I'm tap. Um, you can have an apron on if you want to. I'm going to. Um, oopsie daisy. Um, my apron is actually really dirty for making the cake but we're gonna we're gonna go with the flow you know so the ingredients that you need for the buttercream is unsalted butter icing sugar and milk that's all you need for the buttercream so I'm halving the recipe so if you are following along with this recipe um, and want more buttercream or doing a three layer cake or if you're doubling the cake batter, just to let you know I am halving the buttercream recipe. So I will let you know what it is if I'm not halving it. So if if I can double in mass, I'm going to have to halve it anyway, so it should be fine. Um, so we need, hang on, let's... So we need to beat the butter. So we need 150 grams of butter if you're halving it, 300 grams if you're not. So I need 150 grams of unsalted butter. I think this is about 150, I think, I don't know. Let's just see what that is. 
A hundred, bang on. Okay. So we do need a bit more. Let's get out a little button. Let's cut 50 grams. I'm going to be back when this is done. So now I've got my butter. Now I need to whisk this until it's softened. Or put it in the microwave for like 10 to 15 seconds. So we can put it in the microwave for, I'm going to do 10 seconds um, because I can still whisk it. So yeah, I'll be back when that's done. So my butter has been in the microwave. It doesn't look melted, but when you whisk it, it will become melted. So I now need to whisk this with, yeah, see, look, it's really soft now, so it's going to be a lot easier. I'm actually just going to show you this because it's going to be really loud and I'm sorry to headphone users if there is any because it's going to be loud so I do want you to either take out your headphones or just turn your volume down. There's my um, tablet to find the recipe. <laughs> So it's all it needs to you know, a little blitz. So now that's done, we need to, done that, um, icing sugar. So with the icing sugar, we need, I'm trying to find icing sugar. So you need 650 grams if you're not halving it. And that's 325, I think. I'm going to check that. I'm going to be right back so I'm going to check that. I think it's 325. So I checked on the calculator, it is 325. So I'm going to be adding 325 grams. If you're not having it, do 650. Oh, weighing scales might be handy, Mia. Right. I don't want to turn it off. So you're just going to add in your icing sugar. like I'm doing icing sugar I find is the messiest thing you can work with when you're baking it's just it's so messy two hundred grams slowly but shortly coming out. Just enough. Right. So now that's in, you have to whisk that all together. Let's get rid of that. Um, but what I prefer to do is just sort of whisk it in like manually to start with. Because as you can see, I don't know if you saw, the icing sugar goes everywhere. Which doesn't really end very well because... You literally have to clean everything. You have to clean the work surface and the floor. And then you're usually there for a while. Or if it's easier, you can add it in like section by section, you know. You can split it into quarters. So what's 324? 325 divided by 4. I don't know. I can't really be too bothered to work that out. Um, but yeah. So I just sort of put it in like this. And then if you have like a fancy KitchenAid or something, you can always put like the cover on if you have one, obviously. Yeah, I'm going to be back when this is done because otherwise I'm going to be here forever. So I broke butter and icing sugar down as much as possible. I've made a mess already, but are we that's not going to stay anyway so if you find it hard to like you know mix it and that that's so not going to stay 
You can add in milk um, to, you know, make it more of like a buttercream consistency. So I'm actually going to get some milk and I'll be back. So I've got my milk. You have to add in like two to five tablespoons of milk. So I have tablespoon measurements somewhere. Do I know where they are? No. Um, I think they're in this cupboard. But I honestly have no clue. Right, we're just going to go with the normal, like, tablespoon. Well, you know, we're just going to eyeball it. Just going to... I'm going to add in two to start off with because I can always add more. So, one. It's not accurate, I'm going to be honest. Um, but it's better than having... that isn't the right consistency so that's so much easier right I'm actually gonna whisk it now and it's gonna make a mess I can tell so I'm gonna be back when I have whisked it because yeah it's gonna take some time so I've whisked it it's made a gigantic mess but I'm going to use another spatula I do have loads of spatulas and I don't know why but I'm just going to use a spatula to just bring it all to the middle of the bowl, you know. I'm going to whisk this one more time just to make sure everything is combined. I did add a little bit more milk because I needed to. I didn't really have a choice. Um, it's all over my unit, like my backdrop. I don't know what it's called. My wall. Let's just, let's just call it a wall. I mean, it is a wall. But yeah, I'm just going to mix... mix mix this again um because yeah i am <laughs> I'll tell you for a fact it's not the neatest but and I need to do the top and I don't think I've got enough frosting for the top I think that's the only problem that we've come across but I'm not going to panic too soon worst case scenario is I have to make another batch of frosting so I'm just gonna use all the frosting yeah I'm gonna run out Maybe don't have the frosting if any of you are making this cake. Um, yeah, just a tip. Don't have the frosting recipe because you, you need you need a lot of frosting. I'm going to be honest. You need you need a lot of frosting. <sighs> yeah, this isn't turned out the best that I thought it was going to be. I know my hands are in the camera, but hang on, let's see if we can get a bit of this off. That'll do. I'm going to have to make a second batch because I meant to do like little flower things on the top. And I've got tomato chocolate and do the drip still. I'm yeah this is this is a bit messy i'm gonna be honest it's just a bit messy right i'm gonna be back once i've tried my attempt at making this smooth because yeah it's not the neatest so this is the best i'm gonna get it i'm more pleased with it you know than i was so now i've got to do the chocolate drip and also i've decided not to do like the little rosettes because I can't really be bothered to make another batch of frosting. But we now need to do the chocolate drip. So, we need to get the chocolate out of the fridge, microwave it, 
and I'm going to show you it in a sec. So I've now got the chocolate melted, the bowl's really really hot because I just got the microwave, but I figured out I'm going to pipe it on a plastic bag. Yeah. I don't know how this is going to go, I really don't. Um, we're just going to, you know, we're going to go with a flow. I'm going to get an elastic band to put that around, so I'm going to be back. So I've put the chocolate in, as you can see, I've got a rubber band on as well, so it's not like full. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Um, it all sort of fell. Right. Now this is the bit that I'm not looking forward to, but I'm going to be honest. This is where you now need to create the drips. So I'm going to cut, I'm so sorry that you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm going to explain as best as I can what I'm doing. Cut a corner, sorry, yeah, cut out a corner of the bag. Ah, that, that's, that's a good, that's a good size. I've cut a bag. Sorry, I've, yeah, I've cut a hole in the bag. And I'm now going to, I'm going to do it my side because that's, I'm going to find that so much easier. I've now got to create the drip effect. Right, I'm actually just going to let you watch this because I'm not going to turn off my camera. Oh no, I might not have enough chocolate. This is not going very well. I'm going to be honest. Can you guys see? Ah, this. I said this is this is my first time making a drip cake. You know. I'm gonna be honest, it's not one of the neatest of cakes I've done. I'm running out of chocolate, which isn't very great. Mm. It's getting a bit messy. Oh, so now it turns out good towards the end. That's fun. I'm just going to go over a couple of the drips that didn't look as good because I've actually got more chocolate than I thought I did. Well, I was going to have a little bit more on that bit. Let's make that one a bit longer. Missed out a massive section there. Oh, this is not going great. And that's, you know, that's like a cool little drizzle in the middle, I think. I think that'll look quite cool. It's going all over me. Wow, this is not what I wanted. Oh, yeah. we might be getting somewhere. Let's go the other way as well. The drips aren't as bad as I thought they were going to turn out. I'm going to be honest with that. Oh wow, this, this is a mess, this is a big, big mess, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's helped that I haven't actually used a proper piping bag. Uh, but, yeah.
Right, that's going to do. Um, wow. Let's, this, bit's, this, this bit's the neatest. And then it just... Wow. Um, my hands are covered in chocolate, literally. My workshop is in absolute state. But yeah. This is how it's turned out. Let's get, you know, thumbnail. Let's get let's get the good side of the cake. Let's get a thumbnail pose. Right. It's not too bad. I'm gonna be honest, it's not too bad. <gasps> I've thought of a good idea. I'm gonna wash my hands and tell you. Right. You guys know, we cut off some of the top of the cake. We could crumble the cake onto the top. I'm so gonna do that. Right, just wash my hands as you saw. Let's crumble up some of this cake. I have got clean hands, don't worry. I, I, I know I've just literally said that, haven't I? Let's crumble a bit of cake on top. This actually looks so good. It doesn't look the neatest, I'm gonna be honest. But how nice is it this gonna taste? Like, comment down below if any of you guys are gonna attempt to do this recipe. Um, I will actually leave the recipe down in the comments, not the comments, down in the little section thing below. Yeah, so you guys can make it if you want to. I'll put the buttercream recipe in that down below as well. Let's get let's let's get another thumbnail post because it looks better now. It looks a lot better. Where's the where's the good side? There we go. Thumbnail done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's a bit of a different one. Got a little bit messy. Yeah, make sure you give this video a few. Make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. There'll be an arrow where to subscribe and hit that notification bell because if you subscribe and hit the notification bell, and like and everything, it means the world to me. And when you hit the notification bell you will get notified as soon as I post a video so you'll be the first one there to see my video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's a bit messy but yeah I'm gonna see you guys soon, bye! Mwah.